Hello and welcome, Kendra Morgan here for TLC Designs, and I'm excited to be back sharing a project that I created for the TLC Designs April 2022 new release. This project is also part of an Instagram hop where design team members are sharing their creations made using the newly released products, which include five new polymer stamps. So be sure to check that out and enter to win a gift certificate to the store. Today, I'm sharing a slimline slider card that I created with the new Happy Hedgy stamp set. I'm also using the Slimline Multi Slider Dies, and I've used all three hedgehog stamps, the boy, the baby, and the girl, along with the blanket, and I've layered them up on a sheet of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and I'll be using this large Slimline die on this panel to cut out the leaf border. For the sliding portion, I've also cut out the little baby bottle that will move back and forth between the boy hedgehog and the baby. And I'm placing the smallest slider die here and taping it down with cement tape before running this through my die cutting machine. Now that this is cut out, I'm saving all of the white leaves to use later. And I have this little slider piece that's shaped like an oval that I'll be gluing to the back of the little baby bottle here in just a little bit. But I'm going to set this aside for now. I'm taking a sheet of this green heavyweight cardstock for my card base. And I'm trimming it down to be 8 inches by 8 inches so that I can make my card base. So next, I'm going to be taking my scoreboard and I'm scoring it at 4 inches so that my card will measure 4 inches by 8 inches. Now this die measures 3 and 3 quarter inches by 7 and 3 quarter inches. So it'll have a quarter inch green frame around it once I put the background on top of the card base. So now for the coloring. Just to let you know, I have sped this up quite a bit. I'm using Copic markers and I'll have the colors that I used listed up on the screen. And if you want to fast forward past the coloring part, you can find the video chapters listed in the description box below. I'm going to put on some music while I work on the coloring and then I'll come back and share how I made the rest of the card here in just a bit.
have two sheets of cardstock here that match the green grass and the light blue sky colors. And I'm going to layer these up behind my seam. Now I've trimmed them both down to be three and three quarter inches by seven and three quarter inches. Now for the green piece, I used the inner die along with the large leaf die. And then for the blue, I just cut out the inner piece. I mainly wanted the leaves from the green layer, but I also needed to add thickness to the back of my scene since my slider piece will need room to move around. Earlier when I was coloring, I forgot to color the baby bottle. And so I'm adding some yellow and some gray, and I'm just going to keep the rest of the bottle white. Now to create the slider piece, I'm going to add a glue dot to the top of this little plastic slider piece and then attach the baby bottle on top. Now this will slide back and forth in the strip, which I'll show you here in just a second. Now this slider piece came in a replenishment kit. Um, not quite sure where I got it. It was in a little baggie, but um, see how it slides back and forth here in this little slot. So in order to make it stay put, I need to put a piece of cardstock on the back side. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and glue these layers together. Since the plastic slider piece is pretty thick, I have to make sure that I add enough thickness to my layers to make sure this piece can slide around. So on the back side of the, the bottom layer, this blue layer that I'm going to be adding next, I'm going to be adding some foam tape. I had to double this up since one layer wasn't quite thick enough. And of course, I've sped this up quite a bit. So here I'm just testing it out and I noticed that the one layer wasn't going to cut it. So I went ahead and removed the adhesive backing and added another layer. Next, I glued the blue inner piece down to the green card base that I created earlier. And I used the die as a guide to make sure that I glued it in the right spot in the center. Now to insert the slider piece. I placed the bottle through the slider cutout and flipped it over in order to place a glue dot on the back side of the plastic slider piece. And then I used the slider die cut for the backside strip in order to keep the bottle in place. It was just a little bit too long, so I cut off a little piece of it. And then I flipped it back over and tested it to make sure it was working the way I wanted it to. And then I removed the adhesive backing from the foam tape and attached it to the card base. So next, I took the green leaves that were cut out of that second layer and I inked up the edges with some darker green ink to give them some dimension. I used this green ink cube called Field Day from MFT Stamps and a, an ink blending brush. And so after coloring all of the leaves, I glued the white leaves back into their spots on the scene and then I glued the green leaves on top of that. So having that extra layer of leaves makes them stand out more and gives it more dimension. For the sentiment, I used the stamp that says, enjoy the small memories that I glued in the sky just below the leaf border. And then next I took a white gel pen and added some highlights to the hedgehogs. And then I took some Nuvo crystal drops in morning dew and added them to their eyes. This dries clear and it just gives it a nice shine. And then next I took the grass green Copic marker that I used earlier and I drew in some blades of grass and I added some ice glaze stickles glitter glue to the insides of some of the circles along the border and that finishes off my card.
As I mentioned earlier, don't forget to check out our new release Instagram hop that starts April 25th and runs through May 1st. You can have a chance to win a $20 gift card to the TLC Design Store for hopping along and commenting. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I will have a list of all of the products that I use to create this card in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.